what was the most overlooked, and at the same time, most viewed Marian apparition of all time, which took place in the 20th century. If you answered Our Lady of Zaytun, you would be correct. These infamous, multiple apparitions, took place in Zaytun, Egypt from April 2nd, 1968 to May 29th, 1971. The Virgin Mary would appear weekly in the same location, on top of St. Mary's Coptic Church in Zaytun for all to see. At the height of this supernatural experience, the Virgin Mary appeared before crowds as large as 250,000. Zaytun is one of the locations where the Holy Family supposedly stopped on their flight to Egypt, fleeing King Herod's murder of the innocents some 19 centuries earlier. In the Gospel of Matthew chapter 2, verse 16 says, Then Herod, when he saw that he was mocked by the wise men, was exceedingly angry, and sent out, and killed all the male children, who were in Bethlehem, and in all the surrounding countryside, from two years old and under, according to the exact time which he had learned from the wise men. In addition, this occurred in a predominantly Muslim country and at a Coptic church, which might be why Catholics are less familiar with it. Perhaps, the purpose of the Virgin Mary's appearance at Zaytun was to ease tensions felt between the Copts and other Christians during a time of war between Israel and Egypt, known as the Six-Day War in June 1967. The Zaytun apparitions coincide with a turning point from the 67 War to the Camp David Accords. And finally, a peace treaty with Israel in 1979, on the one hand, and rise of Islamism and the Muslim Brotherhood on the other. The Blessed Virgin Mary appeared as a bright luminous being on top of the church. A few black and white photographs exist showing this miraculous apparition, which drew Egypt's full attention. The apparitions would begin with a ball of light gradually materializing, and then taking on the form of the Virgin Mary. One described Mary as bright as a million suns. They called her Our Lady of Light. Mary appeared over 90 times on top of the domes of the church. Other supernatural phenomenon would accompany the appearances. Luminous doves moved swiftly across the sky and at times flying in formations of crosses. The sweet fragrance of incense could be smelled by the crowd below billowing around her. Stars dropping very rapidly above the domes and over the roof of the church. Flashes, like lightning, radiating from the church domes, mainly from the northeast dome. Luminous clouds over the church domes in the form of the Virgin Mary. Many miraculous healings occurred too, from blindness, polio, cripples, cancer and terminal illness. There were also spiritual conversions of Muslims and others to Christianity. What was even more unusual? about the apparitions at Zaytun was the fact that there were no messages, no visions, and no secrets. Mary appeared over 90 times on top of the domes as a silent witness. She was very quiet and full of glory. Each person present felt alone with her and drawn completely to her. Mary maintained a prayerful attitude as she bowed to the crosses on the domes of the church and blessed the people. She would greet the crowds with a smile. Witnesses could see her teeth and her gown moving in the wind. The dazzling crown on her head was like a bright halo of light. One Coptic priest noted that there were rays of light coming down from her hands, like depicted in the miraculous metal. On some nights, witnesses saw her with the infant Jesus, or sometimes with the 12-year-old Jesus, and other times with Saint Joseph. The apparitions were investigated by the Coptic Church, and the civil government both concluded. It was an authentic and true phenomenon. 
Our Lady of Zaytun, pray for us.